Texas Tim with smallscalerc.com and rcnoob.com. And I was just taking a walk through my RC garage and realized I've had this car for a few months and haven't really done an overview of it or a review of it. Um, and I wanted to do that as I might be getting rid of this vehicle soon. Um, so, well, I still have it and I'm still contemplating parting with it. Um, this is the HPI Micro RS4 um, drift car, basically, the Ford Mustang, 1969 Ford Mustang body. It does not look like what you get stock. I've made a few changes to it. Um, this vehicle actually had some, some decal damage, so I took all the stock decals off, most of them, and gave it my own little uh, muscle car changeover and update. Um, I've taken this out a little bit when, it, when the weather was warmer. Um, had a good time with it. It is a fun car to drive. Um, I would put it on par with my Latrax Rally that I, that I own, uh, another 118 scale vehicle. The Rally is slightly larger. Um, this, again, is 118 scale vehicle. Um, 2.4 gigahertz radio in it, um, flushed motor, four wheel drive. This vehicle's belt drive it, it's the first belt driven vehicle that I've ever owned and driven. Um, in an RC ride. So, um, give you another look at the other side of it. I like the details. Um, the body was really kind of cool. I'm a, I'm a fan of old muscle cars, so this this one had my interest um, as soon as I saw it available, and uh, definitely was happy to pick it up. Um, moving the car aside for just a moment. The uh, controller has a, uh, a good feel to it. Um, I wish there was a little more grip on the steering knob. It's just um, raised plastic lines in it. Uh, as far as overall adjustability and, and fine tuning, you can adjust the uh, steering trim and throttle trim up here. Uh, you can change the steering Direction. You can also adjust the uh, steering and throttle to have it reversed or normal, which is nice. It, depending on what your personal preferences preferences are, you can really customize it to make it fit um, your driving style the best. And another cool thing that came with this vehicle, it came with two sets of wheels and tires. And the stock set of wheels and tires are rubber, the on road more racing. Um, things like that. And it also comes with a set of four hard plastic tires for drifting. I've had this out drifting on carpet um, and it was fun. Um, but I, I quickly threw the rubber tires back on and the uh, other wheels back on as that was the configuration that I felt I was going to be using more often. Um, so we're going to pull the body off right now and take a look under the hood and see what it has. I will say I, I had read a comment and gotten some comments from people uh, telling me to watch watch the uh, the tires and the wheels as they might come off. Um, and if you can do a quick change. They come you know they come off easily enough so you can do a quick change to swap between the rubber and the drip tires. Um, but it's nothing, I've not experienced uh, a situation where the wheel or tire uh, assembly has come off while I've been driving it, um, which was a concern that I had, had read about um, and had gotten some messages on from fellow RC enthusiasts. Uh, so under the hood, we took, took the body off. Um, there really isn't much to this chassis, but what is here is impressive. Um, very nice uh, carbon fiber uh, plate that acts as you know the, the, the lower portion of the chassis. Um, does have some nice 
aluminum components to it. You can see the anodized orange aluminum throughout. Brush motor, tiny little brush motor, but it does put on uh, quite a show once you've got it all charged up and ready to, ready to go. As I said, it is a belt-driven vehicle. There's the belt drive, four-wheel drive. You could disconnect it if you wanted to make it rear-wheel rear drive only. Um, I did have the belt flip around on me at one point in time, and it was it wasn't that fun trying to get it switched back around. So if you want to keep it four-wheel drive, you may just want to keep it in that configuration and leave it there. Um, nice foam bumper. It's it's had maybe a few run-ins with with things, garbage cans and things like that while I've been driving it out in my driveway. Uh, but I haven't had to test the durability, overall durability of that bumper uh, system, thankfully. Um, as far as how it drives and, and, and handles and performs, it's it's good. It's nice. It's fun. Um, it's really a blast on my garage floor, which is a little bit, has less traction, I'll say, than my driveway. And it lets me slide around and, and drift a little bit more. Um, the close closer confines make it a little more difficult. I really need to pay attention to what I'm doing so I don't slide into or under things. Um, but even out on the driveway, I've had some fun uh, racing my younger sons with their toy grade vehicles. They've got a couple vehicles that are about the same size. Uh, what what theirs lack in speed, they were able to make up for in just you know being able to corner and not go in the grass and spin out. The turning radius on this, and maybe I've got to fine tune it some more, but it wasn't as tight as I would like it to be. Um, and again, that really showed when I was racing out in the driveway. Um, but that said, I can I can easily throw it into a slide and slide it around the corners if, if I needed to make a tighter, tighter turn or tighter corner. Um, you know, overall, it's a really cool looking vehicle. Um, this thing, <laughs> this antenna tube, I, oh man, I don't get it. I mean, I get why you need it, but I don't get why they couldn't tuck it somewhere else. And I could probably easily pull this off, but then I've got a giant hole in like the top of my RC body. So I just left it as it is. Um, as, like I said before, I do have a Latrax rally. They were able to get the, to not have that giant tube sticking out from the top. I just, I think that kills the overall look a little bit. Um, I'm big into scale appearance and having, thing, having things look um, as close to one to one scale as possible. And that just, that ruins it for me. But uh, a, a little bit, I'll say. Um, overall, this is a very nice looking car, very nice looking body. Uh, I love the little details that we're putting into it, even though it is, um, let's say, a fairly basic Lexan uh, body. Um, just overall, good vehicle, fun vehicle. Uh, really just a blast to drive. Um, doesn't take too long to charge it up. Um, and uh, as far as the battery, I'm just running the stock nickel metal hydride battery and I I've got I've gotten to a point where I have too many batteries and I can't keep them all straight as far as what they are. This is a six volt yeah this is six volt um, battery as far as what what you can max it out at at I'm not entirely sure um, but the sock battery is more than enough just to have a good time you know, driving around and, and doing donuts and spinning around and things like that. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I, really there's not much more I can say about this vehicle. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's fun, it looks cool. Um, that's to me what RC is all about, you know, having a car that looks cool and is fun to drive. So if you're looking for something that is that meets the mm -hmm. criteria, definitely check out uh, the Micro RS4 from HPI. I believe they retail around $160, uh, depending on the time of year. You might be able to find them um, a little less expensive than that. 
outside of just this body, they do have uh, Ken Block's Ford Fiesta body. They have a couple of their drift car bodies. Um, you can always find other similarly sized 118 scale bodies and you know, modify them if you need to and put it on the chassis and really customize and have, have your own style of vehicle, your own style of car um, to go out and have a good time with. So, you know, check it out. If, they, if this is the kind of vehicle that you're after, uh, definitely look at it because it is a fun vehicle to drive. Uh, for more information on this car, uh, head on over to um, HPI's website. We'll have a link to that um, on our, our own website, smallscalerc.com, so be sure to check that out. Um, and if you would please like and subscribe to the RC Noob video or RC Noob YouTube channel, that's where this smallscalerc.com video is located at. And be sure to check out smallscalerc com for more small scale RC uh, reviews and news and things of that nature. We cover vehicles that are uh, on the smaller end of the spectrum when it comes to scale. So really anything from 1 16th on down, we will uh, try to get our hands on and try to get our thoughts wrapped around to um, give you a better informed option for a uh, for your next RC car purchase. So until next time, thank you very much for uh, watching this and uh, go have some fun with the RC car.